Hey, how's it going everybody? It is your boy Tech God Rochit and welcome to my first Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta video. So unfortunately this has come a bit late, I was busy with my schoolwork and tests and stuff so couldn't upload videos or get much game time on the beta but I have some gameplay for you guys. The gameplay you are watching is from the PlayStation 4 beta using the ARK7 with grip and quick draw I guess and on this map stronghold this was on one of the last days of the beta. Uh, I managed to reach only rank 11, unfortunately couldn't put much time into the game but in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts and impressions about the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta so far. And guys, so far I am loving the beta both on PlayStation as well as Xbox One. Uh, starting off with the movement mechanics, I feel that the movement mechanics do not dictate you winning gunfights or not. Like Advanced Warfare, if you boost jump, you almost guaranteed a win to the gunfight but in Black Ops 3 uh, it just mainly serves as a tool to aid your movement speed around the map and not as a tool to win gunfights as such. Um, now I feel the game feels really smooth and really really similar to Black Ops 2 at, it heart, at its heart. I think it has its origin from Black Ops 2 of course since it's a Treyarch game and that's a great thing because everyone loved Black Ops 2. Um, as far as the specialists go, I feel that they do disturb the balance of the game a bit. Like you guys saw that I was using the Tempest and Wrecking Face. The Tempest is basically like a lightning gun which fires lightning bullets on your enemies and can chain together multiple enemies uh, when you fire it at one and you guys saw that I got a triple kill with that. That was pretty cool. But I was really skeptical about the specialist abilities and they do at times frustrate you but I feel they're fairly balanced. There's some of them which are really good like the scythe specialist ability from the reaper which literally makes your arm into a turret and you wreck people. Unfortunately couldn't use that yet just because I haven't reached a high enough rank for that. But yeah they, they since they are used for a very short amount of time they add some that is the balancing factor. Um, so far the weapons feel fairly balanced although I feel there are certain weapons which stand out like the M8A7 although I was using the ARK7 in this gameplay which is the first assault rifle you unlock in this game and it's really similar to the AK47 from past Call of Duties. Um, it's a really good overall versatile weapon good at short medium and long ranges although it does have quite a bit of recoil that's why I put on the grip as well as quick drop. Now the maps they seem very linear just like you would come to expect from any Treyarch game. Uh, gunfights, a lot of linear gunfights, long range, medium range as well as short range. This map is particularly big stronghold and it was added in a couple of days into the Black Ops 3 beta on PS4. Um, so yeah, it is pretty big but I really like the feel of this map. Uh, went pretty beast in this gameplay, had a lot of fun. As far as the score streaks go guys, finally you get rewarded for chaining kills together. Uh, streaks are really powerful in this game as you would come to expect from any Call of Duty Black Ops game. Um, they wreck, you definitely get rewarded, rewarded. The talent which is worth a few kills, I'm not sure exactly how much, goes in guys if you control it. I've used it only once and I got tons of kills with it. Um, so yeah, anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of the Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta so far. In the comment section down below, have you guys played it? If so, if, if you have, comment which console you've played it on, it's on for the Xbox One and PC at the moment. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video um, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll be able to upload more Black Ops 3 content in the coming few days and I'm out. Peace.